Jasper, what is your honest thought about my mustache? What do you think? <laughs> Pretty gross, eh? <laughs> All right, so I feel that as guys, there aren't that many things we can do for ourselves to help us feel a bit more put together or presentable. I mean, we can shower and we can get a haircut, but it's not like we can get eyelash extensions, fake nails, hair extensions, tan, makeup, and all this stuff. Let me clarify, it's 2020, you can do whatever the fuck you wanna do, but you know what I mean? So today I thought I'd treat myself to just a little self-care day to help me feel a little bit more like my normal self. It's been a while since I last had human interaction. It's been 84 years. And I'm not saying that you have to look a certain way to feel good about yourself. However, when you invest into yourself, whether that's time, money, or energy, you know, you automatically feel better about yourself. And that's one way to be less shitty to yourself. And this channel is all about being less shitty. So today we're gonna be glowing up not only physically, but mentally, spiritually, in all the different ways. So um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Jasper, are you ready for the glow up of a century? Yeah, you're ready to glow up too. Yeah, we should glow you up as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so to start my glow up transformation, I'm gonna grab some coffee because caffeine and antioxidants, like what, what more do you need? All right, so now that I've got my morning coffee, uh, I'm just gonna get a little sweat on. I already went for a walk this morning, but really try to start the day off with some sort of movement. You don't have to do at-home workouts because I know you've been like bombarded with at-home workouts from Instagram influencers, etc. You know, just move around a little bit. Dance, do some fucking yoga, do whatever the fuck you wanna do, all right? Why am I swearing so much? I apologize. But before we get started with the workout, can we just appreciate this fit of the Day. <laughs> Little bit dick in the serge shorts with the freaking long liner. I am really, really enjoying this. I don't know why. It just, ooh. Hello? 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 What's good in the hood? Life, man. Life is good. Yeah, I'm not complaining either. Got my coffee. It's fucking like plus 20 right now. Oh. Plant real bad. Oh, dude, you gotta go to Home Depot. I got two, and it's they're fucking massive. Yeah, we need to do that. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Do you see it? We're getting old, man. Do you see we it? We have a small snake plant here. There's a, just a weed. Now, the big ones are great because they're like fucking fucking big. All right, so just finished an absolute disgusting home workout. Um, it was good though. Now, I gotta hydrate. I gotta hydrate. All right. Let's do this. First of all, let's just see what we are working with. Um, yeah, this is the mop that is currently on my head. The top, I don't mind. The biggest thing is like the sides, how it's like sticking out. I mean, I could lay it flat, which is what I'm gonna do. But the first step in our physical glow up is gonna be some hair removal. Now, I am not going to cut my own hair because this is not a glow down this is a glow up okay however i am just gonna trim the hairs like along my ears just so it's not like coming down a little bit with my trusty pubic hair trimmer that i've been using for like a decade i don't know it works great so basically i'm just going to go careful oh, i'm kind of scared okay i'm just gonna go around the ears and that's that's it All right, all right, all right. All right, there you have it. It's looking pretty clean. Like I said, basically I'm just gonna try to grow up my hair throughout the quarantine. Actually, let me just take care of this freaking mustache next because this, mm-mm, no, no, no. I'm gonna use my trusty safety razor. Um, now, I really don't have a lot of facial hair. It's literally just the chin and the mustache. So I have had no issues with the safety uh, blade, but I know that, um, also this is wet by the way, um, but I know that people who have a lot of like, a lot of facial hair, there's the leaf 
uh, razor, which has like three safety razor blades. Um, I know Levi uses that. Next up, we got a very, very important step. This is a nose hair trimmer. Honestly, I think this is a necessity because you don't want nose hair sticking out, especially if you are filming or when you're talking to somebody and you got nose hair sticking out. Trust me, that's the first thing they're looking at. And when I use my nose hair trimmer, I freaking go in. Like I'm like digging a fucking hole um, because you don't just want to like gently, <laughs> you want to get in there. Just like spend some good time in there, you know? Just like spend some time in there. Go through like the nooks and crannies. Next part in the hair removal stage is we're gonna remove some eyebrow hair. Now I've got crazy eyebrows. Uh, they grow very, very quickly. Um, so what I use is just a regular straight blade and then I just go down on it and I go up and then I shave the unibrow. I do this maybe once or twice a month. Um, and uh, yeah, basically you just wanna be taking nice and slow because you don't wanna cut too much off because then I've definitely done that before. Um, but All right, so for the next part of my glow up, I'm gonna be dyeing my hair and I asked you guys on Instagram, what color do you think I'm gonna do it? You guys are like, oh, blonde, gray, red, purple, green. No, I'm dyeing it black. Now you're probably saying, Joe, your hair is already black. No, it's not black, it's dark brown. And this is not just regular black. It's blue black, which means that it's like the blackest of the black with just like a little bit of blue. You're not gonna be able to see the blue, but trust me, if you're Asian and you haven't dyed your hair like jet black before, you're gonna see a big difference. It's a first step, don your gloves. Oh fuck, I poked a hole in it, don't do that. Uh, I used to dye my mom's hair because she's Typical cheap Asian, doesn't want to go to the hair salon to dye her hair, so I would have to do it for her. And it was like, just terrible. Like, I would just like, slather it on. But it works, you know? Okay. I'm essentially just going to like, shampoo it onto my head. Brad Mondo, if you're watching this, just, just don't, okay? Just don't. All right, there you have it. It's as easy as that. Take your gloves off carefully, make sure you wash your hands. And then you just uh, you just chill for like 30, 40 minutes. So while you wait for the dye to do its thing, you know, do something relaxing. Water the plants, catch up on some reading. I'm gonna eat some ice cream. I don't know how many of you guys have been keeping up with my little ice cream debacle on Twitter, but long story short, I have an ice cream eating problem, like an actual ice cream eating problem, where I can finish the entire pint or the container of ice cream in a sitting. And it's not even like, uh, I don't know, I just I just can't stop. I could probably go on TLC for my strange addiction. I'll be like, Joe consumes 10 ice cream bars a day. That is a lot in a year. <laughs> so as you guys can see, uh, I am not a professional. Uh, got a little messy. That's okay. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, it's been 30 minutes. Let's wash this shit out. Uh, let's just take like, a fall on shower because uh, this shit is fucking everywhere. <laughs> All right, so after you've showered, next step, we gotta moisturize our skin because nobody wants dry, flaky, crusty skin. I personally just use Lubriderm, but make sure when you guys are looking for a moisturizer that it is fragrance free and non comedogenic. And also just take a look at the ingredient list because if the ingredients sound like it should be in a smoothie bowl, like lemon, grapefruit, coconut, vanilla, do not put it on your skin. I don't know if you guys watch Dr. Dre on YouTube, but she's like this dermatologist, it's freaking hilarious, uh, but would highly recommend you guys watch her channel because she's like against all the fragrances and like all the marketing tactics. Anyways, just pick a nice simple moisturizer, Lubriderm, Solid. All right, and next up we're gonna blow dry our hair. Uh, I've been using this for like forever, since I was born. Um, I can't remember the last time I blow dried my hair because as you know, I wear a hat like 99% of the time. But you know, today we're about to glow up. And then when your hair is 99% dry, you're gonna part your hair just like a typical Korean fuckboy. Part your hair. And then I'm about to expose the tricks of the trade with y'all. You're gonna grab a little bit of moisturizer, the Lubriderm, whatever you just use, and you're gonna run it across your hair, okay? Kind of lay it nice and flat because the next step is very important. So the next step 
If you guys have never done Asian hair before, you're gonna be like, what the hell are you doing? But you're gonna grab a toque, okay? A toque for an Asian man is like a do-rag, okay? You're not gonna get waves, but it's gonna like lay the hair flat because the, like my Asian hair is like very stiff. You know what they say, stiff hair, stiff. You gotta be really careful with this because you wanna place the hair so it lays flat and then place it on your head. Just like that. If you fuck up this process, you're fucked, okay? So it really takes practice. I've been doing this for many, many years. Um, and then you just gotta let this cook, let it ferment, um, and let it do its thing. You gotta like leave it in there for like 15, 30 minutes. Um, probably gonna, I'm gonna make some food. Yeah, let's go make some food. Oh my God, she burnt. What the hell? Oh my god. Guys, look at these eggs. So I picked up some eggs from the Korean grocery store the other day, and 90% of the eggs have two yolks in them. And I know people are gonna say, Joe, why are you freaking out? You're already eating hens, period. But like, why, why is that happening so often? Like, what is going on with these Korean chickens? All right, so here's my very simple breakfast. Got some burnt sourdough, baked beans, and some mutated eggs. Guys, baked beans are so underrated. I'm not a big fan of like the baked beans with like maple syrup and bacon bits, and I just like the... All right, so now that we are done fueling the temple that is our body, um, it's time to reveal the product. Um, so I'm just gonna take off our tooth, give her a little quick shake. There we go. As you guys can see, it really does like flatten out the side so it's not really poking out anymore. And look at the hair, guys. I mean, you can't tell me that the hair color doesn't look different, okay? It's black, it's a little, little bit blue, but you really can't tell that it's blue. It just looks very like, very like bitchy. Like, you know, you don't want to come up to me. No, this is probably the most important part. I feel like I've said that multiple times. Um, this is a mini hair straightener. For those of you guys asking why I don't do my hair more often, it's because I just fucking cannot be bothered to use this thing. So that's why I put on my snapback like 99% of the times. But when I actually wanna do my hair, this is what I have to use because like I mentioned, my hair is very, very stiff. Wink, wink. As you guys can see, I'm a fucking pro at this because I've been doing it forever. And then what you wanna do, Take a little bit of hairspray. And uh, there you guys have it. Now, you thought we were done with this glow up? No, because we actually need to glow now. And definitely one of the, you know, I hate saying it like, oh, I get this comment so much. But a lot of people actually do ask, how does your skin look so glowy? So today, I'm just gonna expose my secret to you guys, okay? Watch and learn. So this, is sunscreen. It doesn't matter what type of sunscreen you use. I find that like the majority of sunscreens like give off like a slight sheen. So you're just gonna put it all over your face because just like I mentioned before, as a top tier influencer, I can't age like you commoners, okay? So sunscreen is essential. But do you see that? You see that? People are like, oh Joe, you're so glowy. Nah, dude, it's fucking sunscreen. Have you guys seen? This glow? Joe, did you just work out? Are you super hydrated? No, now you guys know. Anyways, I need to go get dressed. I think today I'm just gonna go for a little denim jacket action because nothing says fuck boy like a denim jacket. All right, so there you guys have it. That was my quarantine glow up. What do you guys think about this hair color? I don't know if you guys can see a difference on camera. I'm a big fan. Um, but yeah, this video was just purely for entertainment purposes. You don't have to look a certain way to feel good about yourself. But yeah, just try once in a while, invest a little time, energy, money in yourself, um, especially at times like this when we are trapped in our home. Now you're probably saying, Joe, where are you going now that you look so fucking fresh? Absolutely nowhere. And that, if you guys enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and remember to be less shitty, especially to yourself, all right? Thanks.